And you're never more than 10 minutes from weather and traffic. We have meteorologist Chris Amino in for Byron Morant today and traffic anchor Alex Lee. Yeah, so good morning to you both. I haven't seen either of you touch the Girl Scout cookies that are in the back here, just <laughs> so you know. Uh, I'm, I'm holding off, me. you know. I figured <laughs> for me, this is a long morning. By 9 o'clock, I'm going to need okay. something. <laughs> they may be gone by then, of course, but we'll see. Uh, meantime, yearly precipitation has been a long year so far, but we're actually above normal uh, for precipitation. This is snow and rain, melted snow and rain, 3.39 inches. That's over a half inch above normal. <clears throat> Excuse me. Upper 30s in the city right now. Upper 30s at around Seaford, 36 in Rumson. Lower 30s and even a few 20s showing up further to the north and west of town right now. But again, these are temperatures that are much more bearable to start. And with sunshine heading our way today, we're going to warm it up pretty nicely. We've got a clear sky, not so much a clear sky, but a clear radar overhead. Still some clouds lingering from the city on south and east. You can see it here showing up at the satellite perspective. But starting to see some breaks in the overcast, and we're really starting to clear it out a little bit better just to the north and west of town. And that's where we're going to see our sunshine later on this morning and into the afternoon. You can see that little wedge of drier air in here. But also notice we've got a southwesterly breeze. Temporarily, that's the warm wind direction, or at least the milder wind direction. Then this cold front slide. Slides on through behind that. Unfortunately, another blast of Arctic air heading away. So, future cast shows again just a few patchy clouds through the afternoon hours, but some sunshine as well. More clouds off to the south of us. And then by tonight, we really start to clear it out. But also notice the movement of the clouds. It go, they go from uh, north to south. That means the wind has shifted back in that direction as well. So, as this cold front comes through, the much colder air will bring us back into the freezer again, unfortunately, tomorrow, tomorrow night. And wind chills tomorrow morning could be quite brutal and throughout the day, actually. The center of the high gets closer and around high pressure as it sits closer the wind becomes lighter but still chilly right on into thursday a little bit of a low friday we may briefly get above freezing but then all eyes turn to this possibility of a storm forming up the carolina coast does it track further out to sea does it hug the coast so somewhere in between those are the big questions we have to answer one model this is the european would bring us let's say a moderate snowfall However, the American model is just glancing us with a light snowfall. But plan on some snowy conditions possible Friday night into at least part of Saturday. How much? We'll have to fine tune that as it gets a little closer. But in the meantime, enjoy the 40s today because you can see across this seven day forecast, that's the last of them. 20s tomorrow, barely 30 on Thursday. Then all eyes on that storm possibility as we head on into the weekend.